Frolic, frolic, merrily, merrily. Little does this meerkat suspect, as he frolics merrily through the jungle, that he's being pursued by a ferocious tiger, wily master of camouflage. Frolic, 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 merrily, frolic, frolic. Mm. Ah. Oh, hello, zebra. Wait a minute. <laughs> a door, you know. Yeah, George had a good day at work. Just saved a meerkat from a tiger. Good lunch, too. Really enjoyed tube of candy. Tube of what? Did I leave my new marshmallow lip balm here last night? George, that's great how you saved the meerkat, but don't you think these smaller animals depend on you a little too much? Oh, give George one example. <laughs> What? Saves him two hours of gnawing. George, meet me at Howie's. Signed, a hungry predator. Come alone. I know your whole save the tiny animals thing is your thing. But us big guys are tired of getting pounded just for doing our thing. Maybe big guys should be nicer to small guys. Talk to them. Bunnies can be more than lunch, you know. Hey, we gotta eat. Hmm, okay. George is thinking. Another smoothie, Howie. This is gonna take a while. We are here to teach you to stand up for yourselves using self-defense techniques. <laughs> Do you think George will be mad that we're doing this? Oh, of course not. Think how much work we're saving him by teaching these guys to take care of themselves. Let's get things started. We need a volunteer. You, chameleon. Uh. It's time to take back the jungle. The days of relying on George are over. Hi! Think about it. No more George using you as a punch balloon. No more cringing when you hear a swinging vine. All we gotta do is lay off the little guys and eat these instead. <laughs> what is that? Fruits and vegetables. They're high in vitamins. And the best part, they don't run away from you. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> there's no more getting beaten up by George. <laughs> what the greatest feeling in the world is? Finding a three-for-one bathing suit sale no one knows about and getting all the best stuff before your friends get there? I was gonna say helping the small and defenseless. Oh. I'm just worried that George will be mad that we didn't think he could fix the problem himself. All we did was give a few critters some self-esteem lessons. That's just helping a little. Yeah, right. He probably won't even notice. Okay, but if there was a three-for-one sale, you would tell me, right? Huh? Huh? Take that! Yeah! <laughs> I always my fuzzy foot. Want me to kiss it and make it better? Uh, time to put those glasses to work!
I'd better get George. Oh, I sing of hogs and power. With praise they should be showered. Not dipped in egg and flour. And hungrily devoured. What just happened? The scary spider of Spider Cave is spinning silk scarves. The vampire bats are drinking herbal tea. All the animals who were supposed to be scary are acting wimpy. Yep, George came up with a pretty smart idea, huh? You did this? No, 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 no. You wouldn't upset the natural order of the wild, would you? Oh, natural order wasn't so great. Way too much growling and screaming. But that's the way it's supposed to be. You know, Ape is upset for nothing. It's not like all animals are acting different. <gasps> Your vegetable garden! Want some asparagus, brothers and sisters? Get him! Nut bread really makes smoothies better. Have you all seen my almond style in jail? <laughs> That's weird. I could swear that leopard just ordered a vegetable smoothie. Sure. That's part of George's smart idea. George got all predators to eat vegetables and fruit. Oh, right, George. Can you imagine? What? George is serious. Now they won't chase defenseless small animals. <laughs> it's the Hairs Angels! Run! Bark your hogs, boys. What are you looking at? Hmm? Hey, Chuckles, you're sitting in my seat. <laughs> Sorry, let me dust it off for you. <laughs> Give it back. <laughs> uh, what's going on? Uh, we just sort of uh, taught the small animals a few self-defense techniques so the big guys would leave them alone. Haragia! Dance, furball! You trained the animals to do this? Whoops. Uh oh. The jungle has rules, and you turn the jungle into. into crazy jungle! Oh, look who's talking. You made all the predators into a load of tea sipping sissies. Crazy jungle. Hmm. George's gonna have to put on thinking lips for this one. <laughs> uh, George wanted to get an opinion on what to plant in new vegetable garden. So, what should it be? Fish's prey? Wimpy predators? Any ideas? How about eggplants? Eggplants? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Okay, then we'll go with predators. Meeting over. Whoa, 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 hang on. Why are we gonna go with what they say? Because they're bigger? No! We say carrots! <gasps> hey, predators! Are you gonna let them boss you around? No. We are the main vegetable eaters around here now, so we suggest eggplants. Well, maybe we don't want you eating any more of our vegetables. Your vegetables? Your ve Your ve Here you go, little fella. Your vegetables? Why don't you just find something else to eat, huh? Uh, maybe I will. Oops! <laughs> um, put up your dukes. <laughs> huh. Natural order makes me happy. 
Where are you going? Georgia, to save little guys. <laughs> Bad kitty. There's just no pleasing that guy. Help! Help! Though the jungle is vast, our hero George hears every cry for help. Eventually. Help! Help! Warthog is in trouble. George must go on many zigzags to get there. Should have gone to the bathroom first. <gasps> hmm. Dear Magnolia, I am borrowing your bike. P.S. I am George. P.P.S. Uh, of jungle. <gasps> There's something happy on the last page. It's sad because it's just a story. I will never have that kind of friendship with a pony. I will never have a pony. <laughs> I used to ride around on my bike and pretend it was lightning. George will get Magnolia a pony to make up for the bike. Ah! Oh, my stars, really? Oh, thank you, George. Okay, quick question. What's a pony? Okay, look for an animal that has four legs and a tail and a mane and... Oh, and wings? And a curly horn and smells like cotton candy? Uh, no, George. Sorry, fella. Not today. Zebra? <laughs> and they won a trophy of gold. Wouldn't it be great in a horse show just like in the book? Elizabeth and Lightning did it! Absolutely! I know you would! Sure. You. Oh, you're not dead! Elsabeth's friends don't believe in her dreams, and she has to run away! Oh. No, oh, you, you'd never terrible. succeed. Yeah, no, George thinks no. you fail. You never support my dreams! Lightning and I will show you all! So you coming or what? And so, Magnolia and Lightning travel far. Very far. Extremely far. Uh, farther than any far away point on the farthest map. Magnolia, 
Our ponies have the same name and everything. <laughs> First up in the Kentering event, Elizabeth and Lightning. I present you with the actually interesting prize. Every year we sit politely through these boring shows. But this year, you gave us some real showmanship. Maggie, this is just like in your book. I read the last page. George doesn't get it. It's just like the end of my book. After Elsie Beth's horse flakes, she finds a magically perfect poodle. Oh, he's so cute. 
Oh, don't take it too hard. Last week she dumped me for a kitty. Come on, I will buy you some oats. Ooh, we're gonna run away and win the dog show. George of the Jungle. As strong as he can be. But how strong is that? And how does he work? Let's take a look inside. Ah! His eye Georges keep a keen watch for trouble in the jungle. Oh, he's spotted something. Then sensitive ear Georges listen for advice from his mentor, Ape. George, save that monkey. To the brain George, who looks a little overworked right now. He's got a lot to deal with. The brain George makes a decision and ta-da, the king of the jungle gets it done. <laughs> You might think the brain George is in charge, but you'd be wrong. The stomach is where it's at. It takes a lot of food to keep the king of the jungle jungling. Meet the best. George loves meat. You do eat an awful lot. Maybe you could cut back a little. Why? Meat never run out. It's magic. What? Meat isn't magic. Meat is... Animals! All meat? Meat Georgie? Burgers, steak, ham sandwich, double extra bacon pizza? No, 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 no! George thinks chicken burritos made by chicken, not with chicken! It's okay, George. It's not okay! George's supposed to protect animals, not eat animals! George? <gasps> what if Georgie took it took it by mistake? Or Doggy Chef? Or you, Ape? Or <gasps> me? George, many other animals eat meat. It's the circle of life. George must make big sorry time to all animals. Sorry, birdie birds, about chicken noodle soup. Sorry, Jungle Cow, about juicy burgers. Sorry, Wild Piggy, about ham sandwich. Sorry, Wild Piggy Butt, about pig butt burritos. Sorry, Jungle Moose, about chocolate moose. I really think you're making too much of this, George. Here, I made your favorite lunch. No, no! Go, little meatballs. Go, be free. George, no eat you ever again. You too, Spaghetti. George, this is ridiculous. And pasta's not even a... From now on, no animals in mouth. George, only eat veggie tables. And make sure Jungle does too. Apple tastes way better than brown mouse. Cabbage plant instead of frog. See, Ursula? Onion tastes much better. While your quest is noble, my good friend, I fear it's doomed. No, George not stop. Must teach Jungle to eat veggies, not food that alive. But George, vegetables are... Alive? How come you never tell George that, Banana? Tell Banana he owed George answer, Celery. <laughs> See, George, eating other plants and animals is a normal process in nature. We apes have been doing it ever since we arrived on this planet. I mean, ever since we evolved on this planet. Fine. Then George eats dirt. Dirt not animal. Dirt not alive. But even dirt is full of things that are living. What? <laughs> And George be a... Don't do it! Rocketarian! Oh. Oh. Yeah. 
Um, oh, so good. George, you can't just eat rocks. It's been weeks now. I'm taking you to the witch doctor. Sometimes I just love saying my own name out loud. Uh, what seems to be the... Oh. He won't eat anything except rocks. And the jungle's going to heck without him. Hmm. 50 cc's of quit being an idiot and eat some real food should do the trick. Let's not eat anything but rocks until conscience clear. George, if meat could talk, it would tell you that it's okay to eat it, as long as you treat it with respect. But meat can't talk, so... <gasps> meat seance! My afternoon's free. I'm gonna open a pretty gnarly hole to the netherworld, so make sure you don't disturb this circle. Why not? What part of Gnarly Hole to the Netherworld didn't you understand? Spirits of ham, spirits of lamb, spirits of sausage and chicken pot pie. Come forth through this portal so George can say hi. Holy bananas! Wow, I didn't expect it to work. Okay, big man, say your piece. George just wants say. Be very, very sorry for eating all you animal meats. Uh, unless you say it's okay, George only eat rocks now. See? <laughs> yum, yum, yum. That's some angry meat, and it's out for revenge. say that I never prepared for this exact problem. Meat defeat George because George take meat for granted and not think about what he eat. George need to know his frenemy. Ape, put George in meat school. Teach about circle of life. Teach proper meat names. Teach about where meat come from, but really, really fast. Okay. about meat now. Know where it come from and where it going. Eat me. Me really, really tasty and free-range organic ethnically treated. I have good life, so it's okay and natural for you to eat me now. Circle of life. George, what have you done? George, clear conscience. Now me know what it's like to be meat, too. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,
skinny ghost. <laughs> Turkey, hope you had good life in nice fields with grass and bugs, which is only kind of meat, Georgie, from now on. Then eat me, you beautiful man. <laughs> you did it, George. You ate all the meat that you previously ate. Yeah, ma'am, that was <laughs> heavy. <laughs> Now, Jungle's safe again, and George understand all about meat. We'll always remember your sacrifice, George. What sacrifice? Which doctor can just put George back in body now? Sure, if your body's still around. Uh, I could put you in something else, I suppose. Not so bad, George double patty with onions. Wait, why you look at George like that? Hey, hey, no! Patty! Patty! <laughs> George, wake up! <laughs> no one said being king of the jungle was easy. But George takes it to a whole other level. Hurry! Hurry, 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 hurry! Luckily, George always bounces back. Ape? Time for jungle aerobics? No, nope. in fact, you'll never need to exercise again! Oh, why? Not you just asteroid is headed straight for the jungle! And? There is no and! We're doomed! Doomed! Hmm, or me could save day. Yes, me do that instead! Me save day! No, oh, it's an asteroid! No worry, everybody. George, catch Big Sky Rock with bare hands. George, you can't catch an asteroid. It's... it's all over. Hey, George got this. Yes, George always bounces back. That is until, spoiler alert, right now. Are you okay? No. Whew. That doesn't look too bad. That's a normal skeleton for comparison. This is George. Every bone's broken. His organs are mulch. Somehow there's a wasp nest in there. And I don't even know what all this stuff is. But thanks to my very expensive services, he's gonna be fine. Thank you, Doctor. Me feeling better already. No, what you're feeling is nothing, because I had to remove your entire body. Ta-da! <laughs> Don't be such big babies. I sent it out for repairs. It'll be back in a week. But what will George do until then? Same as everyone else. Use the loner. Yeah! Not so bad for a body made of wood. Um, George? Pretty hot! Pretty hot! <laughs> 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 Sorry? Oh, I've got a couple more, but I'm keeping your deposit. Okay, now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George? Ah! Turn my country! Turn my country! <laughs> I'll get another. Okay. Now, George, see what new body can do. Um, George. This gets silly now. And I'm all out. But George can't just be ahead. Hmm. No. No, 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 no. Yes. <laughs> you great from up here. Uh, uh. Ooh, 
Me control arm! I don't like this. I don't like this very much at all. Nose or ear itchy ape? Sure as hell. Ah! Ouch! Stop! Stop it! That's good enough for me. I'll see you in a week. Come in. We save jungle together. High five! George! No! Maybe! No! You should let go! Me drive! No! Oh. Uh, no rock to plug hole. Only one option. Wait, don't! <laughs> Big cats, work together instead! George! George, no feel claws or teeth! Eat! Well, that was a whole half hour. Take him off me! Now! But Ape no like being close to best friend George? I do. You just have to take better care of your body, George. You're too reckless. George's not reckless. George extreme! And that's the problem I have that feels so weird. What now, soccer ball? More friends help. You know, at first I was like, no way. But it's been fun spending time with you, George. Aw, George happy you let him crash here. <laughs> no problem. What are friends... Wow! What are you doing? George, get you cool tattoo to remember time we spend together. Hit <laughs> picture of me, real big. You know like tattoos? Ah! This time, food go in Ursula's mouth. Not if George get there first. Ah! 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 Sorry, stop, please, stop. Ah! Ah! Higher, higher, wee! Turtle, turtle. Do loop, do loop, wee! Circle. Great news. Hi, Doctor. George's body back? Good as new. Finally. Let's get you back where you belong. What? Huh? Hey! Follow George body! Body, what's up for? Tree. Hey, body. Why you run? I don't know if you understand how creepy this is. Buddy, put me on, okay? Fun chase over. Ow. That hurt. Bad news, George. Your body doesn't want you back. It says you don't respect it and you'll just break it again. He tell you that? He indicated as much using a clever mix of mime and middle fingers. Fine. Who need body anyway? You do, George. You really, really do. No. George head needs no one. See you back at Treehouse, Ape. Are you? George, sure. George, still Jungle King. <sighs> hey, kitty. Leave Monkey alone. Oh. Not cool, kitty. Fear not. George, help little guys get across. Okay. Now, George, think you missing on purpose. Wow! George never see Jungle from up high! Looks so pretty! Make George want to focus on important things in life! <laughs> Jerk Eagle! And what do we have? George, where have you been? George, 
been in pain. George understand how hard he be on body. He take it for granted. No more. Two thumbs and feels like punching some lions? This guy! <laughs> Not in my weirdest dreams did I ever imagine. Must stop, Dr. Baby Big Buddy! <laughs> You're right! I'm totally jacked! And I never even went to the gym! Hey, that doctor! <laughs> Set body free! Um, that'll be a... No! Ah! <laughs> yes! <laughs> this is my house! Bro George Ape must save body in jungle! But it'll hurt. Bro George! Dr. Chicago! Body, me sorry for treating you bad. Me no deserve such awesome muscles and six pack. Me wish you good future. Whoa, 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 whoa. Body miss George? George miss Body too! <laughs> me so happy to be back. And another bizarre nightmare comes to a happy end. Now we celebrate with rock eating contest. Ow! Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry, body. Ah, to be king of the jungle. Master of your domain. Respected by all creatures great and small. Or sometimes, not so much. I really need to rinse, George. Elephants, make space in water hole for ape. No hurry, ape. George Elephant Whisperer. Elephants move, okay? more nicely. Okay, that it. Here it come. Please move now. <laughs> See, elephant respect, king of jungle. I'm afraid not. What? Elephants respect lions more than George, king of jungle? <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> not respect, fear. Fear? Uh, what that mean? Fear, yeah. Fear make elephants and George run. It is a powerful motivator. So, if George be like scary lions, then animals do what George say. I suppose, but that's not... Wow, it worked! George! Elephants scared of lions. Lion scared of lava. <laughs> George bet all animals listen to Volcano, George. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Burning rock good. Wow. Lava scared of Ursula. Lion scared of lava. Elephant scared of lions, so George must be like Ursula. Wait, what Ursula afraid of? Ursula fear nothing! Oh, you don't, do you? Quiet, Sky Voice! You're not even a little afraid of the Bush Baby of Doom? <laughs> I'll have to remember that. What Bush Baby of Doom? Oh, it's just evil, George. Pure evil. It lurks in the heart of the jungle, where it's wreaked terror since the beginning of time. We have nothing to fear but fear itself. And the 
bush baby of doom. Everyone fears the bush baby. Then George go to Heart of Jungle and learn to be like bush baby. Then all animals listen to George. Are you sure you want to do that? <laughs> what just happened? How did we get here? George, use edit. Now this right place for Doom Baby? Few animals venture into the dark heart of the jungle, for the Bush Baby of Doom is so feared, so dreaded. Okay, okay, we get it. George, uh, do that edit thing again. No, George learned Bush Baby's secret first. Aww, wait. No fair! It's cute! <laughs> Look, Ape! Not scary! Cuddly! George, be careful! Ow! 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 You don't need the jungle to fear you, George. Everyone loves and respects you already. <laughs> Listen to George. They, they certainly did. Um, what are those? Oh, ape! <laughs> those fingers, fingers. I'm worried about you. You seem different. You crazy ape. Me same old George. Ah! Huh? Uh, ah! I've seen this sort of thing before. Either your father was a jungle yeti. Ow! <laughs> or someone's been bitten by the bush baby of doom. He was definitely bitten, and clawed, and chewed, and then bitten again. But how did this happen? Well, everyone knows that anything bitten always turns into whatever bit it. Huh. Maybe George should have finished lunch then. George is turning into a bush baby. Oh, do. Is there a cure? Nope. George will go full bush baby by Thursday. Unless. Unless what? Unless it happens on Wednesday. <laughs> <laughs> But what if something else bite George first? Hmm. George, ready? Do it, Rocky. Give George big chomp. George, rocks can't bite. And why would you want to be a rock anyway? Hey, what ape got against rocks? Look, why didn't we get a human to bite you? Uh, how did you do that? <sighs> Don't ask. Uh, what happened to you? <sighs> it's a long story. Magnolia bite George, please. What? Gross! No, you're covered in hair. Just one nibble. Do it for science. Hey, I'm the scientist here, so I decide what's for science. And biting George is definitely not for science. Ow! Huh? You're not Jungle Yeti. Oh, George, feel funny. What? <laughs> There! George, George again! Right? Maybe if we mix in some cute and majestic, we can get you back to normal. Ah, you get bunnies to bite George? Not exactly. Be brave. Did it work? Ooh. <sighs> Not exactly. Ow! Hey! Ow! Ow! How George looked now. 
Uh, uh. Rescue now! Fix George later! Uh, George, wait! Oh, boy. Dirty uh, horse should be careful playing around edge of... Uh, oh, there, there. It okay. Uh, George, return baby bird nest to three. Uh, 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 George, help! Magnolia not think George monster? No, you're definitely a monster. But maybe a Nobel Prize winning monster! <laughs> Come out, George. The jungle needs its king. George not king. George monster. Even rocks and trees run from George. But George love you! Oh, thanks a lot, Rock. Now, Darkness, George's only friend. Darkness and Moss. Thanks a lot, Moss. Oh, come on! Oh, George just wanted respect. Now me just want to be normal. I have one last idea, but you might not like it. Bring it out! Bring what out? Hey! Hey, Bush Baby of Doom, this monster George Cave! Are you sure this is gonna work? No idea! Bite him! Bite him, George! You ruined life! Take this, Bush Baby! Stage one complete. You're leaving without George? Am I? George, like being king of bungo. Jungle, king of the jungle. <laughs> oh, George. Many of you have worried about George. Has he been cured, or is he still a disgusting, deformed combo beast? Well, see for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Kinda like George. Ow! Close enough for me. Ow! Tree by George! Hey, George always want have tree hair. <laughs> it's the oldest of questions. What drives man to pit himself against the wild? to challenge Mother Nature herself to a no-holds-barred cage match of epic proportions. Thanks for the warm-up, ladies, but I'm hunting big game today. For Tiger Titheridge, it's to become legend and be crowned this year's Master of Macho. But this year's competition is fierce. Grizzly Lady Bear took the dreaded Lasersaurus down like a clown. Mako Manswim Jr. captured the hyper-cunning Great White Smark. And King Cobra snagged the Emperor of Yetis after a 72-hour toboggan chase. Wait, it looks like this hunt isn't over. Tiger has only one day left to out-hunt them all. And to do that, he needs to catch the one, the only, Chupacabra. <laughs> You're mine! Oh. Revol! Oh, hi, Tiger. I think I'm allergic to everything in this jungle. And, um, headlocks. It's here. Don't drop your guard for a second, Weevil. Don't even blink. Not blinking. George say about hunting animals, huh? Tiger and Weevil get naughty fingers. 
it's not just an animal. Ugh, it's the chupacabra. <laughs> Choopy Cooby Doo? What Choopy Cooby Doo? <laughs> no, George, the chupacabra. It's the trickiest and most dangerous of all Mother Nature's nasties. When the other predators tell scary stories at meat camp, it's always about the chupacabra. The stakes were gone. The chupacabra had replaced them with arugula. <laughs> Killer whales were originally land dwellers. Chupacabra, waiting until we were distracted by the narrator. George, rescue Weevil from Chupi Kubu. Not so fast, Jungle Pants. But George, save Weevil. This is your fault. You triggered that cutaway with your Chupi Kubu nonsense. Talk like a real person. You are going to help me avenge Weevil's loss. Tiger! But Weevil not lost yet. He's a goner. I'm really not. He was a loyal assistant. He carried rope like a champ, creased maps like a pro, and operated a microwave like a boss. Rest in peace, little guy. Can someone just please rescue me? You owe me, George. So you'll help me catch this chupacabra that struck poor Weevil down in his prime. I'm still alive! Got it, Leaf Eater. George coming, Weevil! I'll take your naked enthusiasm as a yes. You have to understand! Chupacabra is a truly worthy opponent. He's my nemesis, my arch enemy, my numero uno enemy type guy. But I'll show him Mano a Chupacabra. <laughs> What if baby banana gets stepped on, or eaten by monkey, or mistaken for fat tiny boomerang? <sighs> it would learn to survive and become stronger! Abandoned by its own kind, the banana cub would be forced to face its worst fears and crush them. In time, it would become more than just a banana. A banana to fear, a banana to respect, a macho banana. An alpha banana, making the rest of its kind look like fancy organic plantains. Fierce and noble, yet lonely. Oh, that okay. George Orphan too. I was talking about the banana. <laughs> That's what tough tastes like. <laughs> We've got a chupacabra to catch. <laughs> The lair of the Chupacabra. Chupi Kubu. Time for a visit from Mr. Catchy and Mr. Sleepy. No, saving better than hunting. Whoa! Forget it, hippies. Man was meant to conquer nature, not make friends with it. He was meant to have an amazing jawline and use muscular words like Chesterfield and ripcord. Not swing through the jungle in a tacky loincloth. Yeah? How tiger hunt without fang sticks? <laughs> Don't eat them. Meet Goodnight Charlie and Mrs. Bash. They're registered weapons. I have to check them when I fly. If you survive this, I'll be very, very surprised. Oh boy. Here, George, go. Ha! <laughs> As if. What in Hemingway's name? Oh, hi, Tiger. Hmm, you hungry? That chupacabra fellow left me all this delicious food. And boy, he makes a fantastic smoothie. It's good to have you back, Weevil. Hi, uh, thanks, Tiger. Uh, you know I'm bait, right? Of course, that's classic chupacabra, using my own lackey against me. I don't know why, 
But I like the taste of your mustard chupacabra. I've got a place all ready for you on my trophy wall, right between a polar bear and a T-Rex. I see. Yay! Go, Tiger! be defeated by gravity. George, I left you behind to get eaten. No, oh, George, no. But in unexpected twist, plant allergic to papaya conditioner George using hair. George always say, Take care of hair, and hair take care of you. Okay, but you still saved someone more fundamentally awesome than you. Why? Because George Orphan 2. <laughs> George left alone in jungle with no one in world to help. Until it found George. My, aren't you cute and hairless? Only difference between George and Tiger is George had ape. What if Tiger was saved by Big Monkey too? Maybe he'd be nicer person. Blah, blah, blah. Get this straight. I don't need saving from nature. Nature needs saving from me. <laughs> Chupacabra, but get a load of a real man's pits. <laughs> Boom, and that's how it's done. Meet this year's master of macho. Come on, Weevil. Tiger, sure he won't do that? Give Chupikubu second chance so monster can change ways and live new life. <laughs> Get out of here, you beautiful monster. Happy now? George, proud of Tiger. I didn't say shut up about your mushy, hippie feelings. I don't even get a trophy now. Tiger still get trophy. Like a golden pat on the back and a first place kiss on the cheek. I am the master of macho. Good for Tiger. Turns out king of the jungle trumps emperor of the yetis. How long George have to stay here? Until next year. At least George have company. Is that papaya in your hair? I think I'm allergic. Mother. Two desperate figures run for their lives, carrying with them the jungle's final and only hope. How did it come to this? No, seriously, I'd like to know. Can, can we do a flashback or something? Sweet. Thanks. Oh, potato fizzy legs. Got it. Just one more. <laughs> Dirty bacon hairbrush. That's enough for the day. We'll finish my jungle taste report tomorrow. 
Oh, all licking and no eating makes George hungry. Me too. Hmm. What to eat, what to eat, what to eat? Mystery berries. <laughs> Meh, had for breakfast. Squash and beans? Had for lunch. Wounded zebra! Patrick, good friend! Hey, what's that convenient noise? What's the big deal? It's just a dumb banana tree. Ha! Forgive them! Don't you know how important bananas are to all ape kind? This film will show you the delicious world of bananas. Warning, you will get wet. From your own drool. <laughs> Seriously, though, pay attention. Bananas, our most precious resource and our yummiest friend. Bananas. Like apes, no two bananas are the same. Bananas were first discovered at the sacred banana mating ground. Let's explore the three reasons we must protect these wonderful yellow mouth ticklers. Reason one, bananas are delicious. Eat them for breakfast, lunch, dinner, midnight snack, brunch, 11 Z's, tea time, supper, dejeuner, hypoglycemic snacks, regular snacks, post snack, snack, snacks, pre-dinner, post-lunch, pre-snack, snack, post-lunch. Post the second reason bananas are our most precious resource, they're not just for eating. You can use bananas as antiperspirant. Distress beacons. Loyal and fun pets. Nothing says I love you like a banana. And the third reason bananas are so important, they're just so darn banana-y. <laughs> Every time. We never knew. That banana's so amazing. It's bananas! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> Glad you finally understand what bananas mean to us apes. <laughs> Maybe we should try it with more bananas! Hmm. I call it the Thought Doer. Know what George thought doing right now? <laughs> You're taking things a little far. Wasting them now. Bananas can run out, you know. Ape, I'm a scientist. Natural resources can't run out. It's impossible. <sighs> what happened? I think we ate too many bananas. <gasps> Just bones left. <sighs> What have you done? You used up all the bananas? All except for two? Oh, man, did we? But no biggie. There's other stuff to eat. You don't understand. <laughs> it begins. Bananium found in every banana are ancient monster genes. Take control. Just slowly and quietly. Run! Oh my god! Oh my gosh! What are we gonna do? There's only one solution. You must 
Oh, no. <laughs> uh, it's okay. Run! Run for your lives! <laughs> <laughs> Must fix Ape and save Jungle! But there's only two bananas left! Okay, think, think, think. What do we do? Hmm. Yes? How ants remember all other ants' names? Oh, George would be terrible ant. Uh, wait, what question? Okay, okay. Is there another source of bananium? Hmm, maybe oranges? Those are full of orangium! Uh, it's totally different. What if we disguise the bananas as us and us as the bananas? Yes! And it's chase bananas and eat us instead. It's not gonna work. If we get more bananas, apes turn all huggable and not be fighty anymore. But how? Do I look like a banana magician? Like I do banana magic? Ooh, abracadabra. Spell no work, you terrible banana magician. I've got it. We'll use science to save the bananas from extinction and rescue Ape in the jungle to the sacred banana mating ground! <laughs> and so, George and Magnolia carry the jungle's last chance for survival to the sacred banana mating ground. George. Okay, bananas, make banana babies. Go! Try moving them closer. Duh, of course. We can't do it if we watch. <laughs> Double duh, this will never work unless we set the mood. Much better. Wait, George, forget something. In case Santa hungry after deliver banana babies. George, Santa doesn't ex um doesn't love anything more than cookies. Hurry, make more bananas. You two want to play hardball? We can play hardball. Fire, George! Lightning always makes stuff work. <laughs> Roasty bananas. George, hold off eight monsters. Magnolia save bananas, okay? Hmm. George need to look good for final sacrifice. What are you doing? Uh, ah! This is all because we wasted precious natural resources! Me sorry, eat too many bananas! <laughs> and now you've learned your lesson. Oh, oh, oh wait. Uh, uh, hold on, I've got this. Uh, right, lesson learned. What? Apes not monster? <laughs> Get out! You pretended you were killer apes to prove a point? Did you really think we'd let you eat all our bananas? We saw you were getting greedy. So we held an emergency meeting to figure out what to do. We came up with a few schemes to stop you. Some thought we should cut you off immediately. But then we had a better idea. We implemented Operation Save All the Delicious Yummy Bananas from the Bad Bad People so we could eat them ourselves. Apes are terrible with code names. So you tore up an entire jungle to make a point about preserving part of the jungle? Sure, it sounds bad when you say it that way, but we had to be convincing. They were eating all our bananas. Come on, our bananas. <laughs> okay, yes, we learned our lesson, but you were the real monsters here. 
Come on, George, let's go. There's a whole jungle of things still to taste. George no want taste yucky jungle things. George stay here and lick this slug. <laughs> 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 What? It's a good idea. Nature. It's soothing, beautiful, even smells pretty nice. But beneath all that fancy business, there's power. A thunderous waterfall can wear down solid rock. Powerful winds can bend the mightiest trees. The fury of lava can scorch the landscape. And heat water so ducks can have a nice warm bath. Did I mention the wind? What I'm trying to say is, nothing can stop nature. Something stopping nature! That's overly dramatic, but also correct. Big Little River is down to a trickle. It's an ecological disaster. George, fix! Clear liquid plug up river! That's the water, George. <laughs> no time for jokes, eh? George, let me explain. River made of water? Same as lakes? Yes, ah! and rain, and ice, even snow. They're all water. Stop! Don't make George dizzy. I think we found the problem. <gasps> Those guys make log house. House stop water. Mystery solved. New mystery. Who are those guys? They're beavers. They're an invasive species. What? An invasive species is an animal that doesn't belong here. It all starts way up here in Canada, where, otherwise known as Castor Canadensis, beavers are not normally found in tropical climates, responsible for the invention of the telephone and the handheld blender. Beavers are nothing if not inventive. And that's where we get artificial strawberry flavor from. So you have to get rid of them before they ruin the jungle forever. Hey. George Wick, totally listen to science talk. Get rid of beavers right now! Oh! Uh! Me, George, king of jungle. You beavers have king, queen, maybe super beaver? What are you, squirrels? Get back to work! Name's 3-2. Huh? Beavers got two teeth that stick out. Okay. I got three. So that's my name. And why I'm in charge. Oh, it's a system. What do you want? George, welcome you to jungle. Now leave jungle. Log house, stop river. Make big puddle on other side. Flood monkey baseball field. Beavers must go. No belonging jungle. Not natural. <laughs> Not natural? Take a look at the mirror, bub. You're human. You don't belong in the jungle neither. George. Human? Reality can take many forms. A sunbeam, a bolt of lightning, or a giant hammer that clobbers you in the jaw. That's just a metaphor, of course. What did you think you were? George think he was... a George. Kind of like a sloth lemur banana thing. And one day, Lady George show up. And George and Lady George make baby George. Then we all return to home planet. You know what's funny? Until this very moment, I thought I knew what crazy was. Ape, no, George, human? Well, of course I did. And you kept it a secret? It wasn't a secret. He has thumbs and everything. After I found you in the orphan storm, we knew right away that you were human. And that your diaper smelled really bad. At first, you tried to be an ape. That didn't work out. Neither did being a bird. But soon you found your own identity and became king of the jungle. And the jungle needs its king to stop those beavers. But George, human now. If beavers no belong in jungle, neither does human George. Ha! Are you kidding? We humans go wherever we want, do whatever we want, take whatever we want. We rule the planet, see? What you gonna do, huh? Cry? Cry like a big sad crying ape, huh? Huh? Stop, stop, stop it. I'll put you in the circus. Leave me alone. Magnolia's annoying, but also right. You just need to discover what it means to be human. Then you'll understand why you belong here as king of the jungle. But how George learned to be human, eh? How? If only we knew a human who could teach you. Hmm? For 
Get it! I'm not... Now, you two, be human. Okay, first thing you gotta learn, George, is that we humans are crazy smart. We think. Animals just do stuff or whatever. See? I'd never do that, because I use my brain. Ah, here's a perfect example. I'm thinking what that crocodile could want. Hmm. Fum. It probably just wants a kiss or something, so I think it's harmless. Ta-da! Uh... And we humans are never wrong. <laughs> ah! That. You throw a good crocodile. The witch doctor is human. At least I think he is. Maybe he can help. Be gone, shark that blew. I have banished the evil shark from your lawn. Ahem. Mm -mm. Elephants make the best BLTs in the jungle. Shark monkey fit? What? Let Abernathy go. <laughs> yeah, well, next time, don't miss your cue. Oh, phew. Hey, elephants! It's okay! No shark! Just be a monkey! I tricked them. But why humans trick animals? Duh, for a bag of sandwiches. Oh. <laughs> You did the right thing, George. Cheer up! Look! I'm the shark monkey! Wait, I'm not. It's a hat! It's just a hat! Ah! There's only one more human who might be able to help. Ah! Hey, George scared. Desperate times call for desperate... Ah! Wait, we need your help! George not know how to be human. Ah! Ursula teach George? <laughs> Only one thing you need to know. This was a terrible idea. <laughs> hey? Being human means being scary. All animal afraid of Ursula. Hey, wake up, babe! Hey! Good. Now Ursula can scare him again later. <laughs> I saw the other side. Okay. If George have to be human, then human have George to be. What? <laughs> this is beaver country now. Hey, beaver teeth! George know himself now! Beaver's in big human trouble! Oh, really? And what are you gonna do, human? George use human pinky brain! <laughs> I ain't got all day, bub. Huh? Okay. Then George, use human tricky trick. Look, big monster behind you. Mm, nah. Fine. Then George, use human scary face. Use your what? <laughs> like I said before, humans don't belong in the jungle. And you are one terrible human. Beaver right. George, no good at thinking, no good being tricky, no good being scary. George, bad human. You saved Magnolia, stopped the witch doctor from lying, and brought me back from the afterlife. You may be a terrible human, but you're a great George, and this is where you belong. <laughs> Don't feel bad you're lost. We chew down trees and build awesome stuff. It's our thing. Chew trees? Yeah. <laughs> Those logs! Buddy, logs are trees! Logs are trees? George bash into trees all the time! Human George can't get rid of beavers, but George George can bash down log tree piles! How? There aren't any trees left to swing from. There be one! The tallest tree of all! Tree known to ages as Tim. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
What's he doing? He's being himself. He's being George. Which one of you jokers left the tallest tree in the jungle? Huh? Ah, figures. that his nature was not a human nature. It was his own. Talkie Skyboy's right. George lousy human. But George, good George. And all it took was the jungle to be clear cut and flooded. Maybe you wrecked a dam, but you made an enemy. An enemy with three keys! You can be George enemy. You can be whatever you want.